Hello guys, welcome to another video. And this one, I'm going to be discussing another unique item to be introduced to the game in 3.24. And this is another core unique item. It's not exclusive to the Necropolis League mechanic. And that's the utmost unique amulet. This is a special one, as I believe we had no idea that something like this was being added to the game prior to this patch. We knew that the uber bosses were getting new uniques added to their loot tables, at least one for each boss. But the utmost is acquired in a very special way. It's more of a scavenger hunt style system, which requires you to combine four different curios. These are primordial fragments which each drop from a specific uber boss. The curio of absorption which drops from the uber searing exarch. The curio of consumption which drops from the uber eater of worlds. The curio of decay from the uber uber elder. And the curio of potential from the uber maven. Arranging these four fragments in a row will create the utmost, a new unique amulet which has some ridiculous stats, and it's corrupted the moment you create it in your inventory. 0 to 30% chance to suppress spell damage, 0 to plus 5% to all maximum elemental resistances, 0 to 40% increased attack and cast speed, and 0 to 20% elemental penetration. The massive roll ranges on this item make it one of the craziest gamble items in the game. And well, a lot of Path of Exile players love gambles like this one. So this is definitely more of a high-end trade league type gamble item for players with a lot of currency to play around with. As of making this video, you can purchase all of the curios required to assemble the utmost for around 10 divine orbs. A well-rolled version of this amulet might go for 150 divines or somewhere near there whilst the utmost with exceptional rolls may be worth many, many mirrors. However, one with bad rolls is, well, completely worthless. So, why is the utmost so special? Aside from the fact that it's created, corrupted, and getting one with very good modifier rolls is going to be extremely rare, the stats that are potentially gained from this amulet are typically very sought after in many builds, and aren't particularly accessible on the amulet slot from any other item. For example, you can get a lot of elemental penetration from the crystallized omniscience amulet with good investment into attributes. Or you could get a bunch of maximum elemental resistances from a leadership's price amulet, but no other amulet offers access to this many sought after stats all at once. The closest comparison may be the Strangle Gasp unique amulet, which can be anointed four times and could provide a somewhat similar arrangement of stats, albeit in considerably lower amounts. But do keep in mind that even though the utmost is corrupted, it can still be anointed using a tainted oil, and it can still have quality as well using tainted catalysts, such as this one here that has a max plus 5% to maximum elemental resistances roll, improved to plus 6% with 20% resistance catalysts. The utmost with good rolls is going to be a powerful addition to many builds, but I think in particular, the strengths of this item are exploited well by builds on the left side of the passive tree which typically struggle to cap spell suppression chance, and gain a huge amount out of the maximum elemental resistances due to having relatively easy access to a lot of this style already on the passive skill tree. As an example then, a Juggernaut which is using the Unbreakable Ascendancy Notable to apply a percentage of their armour to elemental damage taken from hits. Armour is more effective against smaller hits, so increasing maximum elemental resistances is a great way to improve the effectiveness of the Unbreakable Notable. With access to passives like Soul of Steel and Prismatic Skin for a bunch of maximum elemental resistances, they may be able to get close to 85% maximum elemental resistances with just the passive skill tree nodes and this amulet alone. Not to mention being able to cap suppression far more easily, and being able to make good use of the elemental penetration, like on a strength stacking Brutus led sprinkler build. However, this amulet is also extremely powerful when considered on builds which have limited access to any types of increases to maximum resistances or spell suppression chance such as which builds at the top of the tree. The potentially large chunk of chance to spread spell damage will allow these builds to trivially cap spell suppression chance when combined with the instinct wheel on the tree, whilst the increase to maximum elemental resistances could provide upwards of 20% less elemental damage taken, depending on other access to this stat. So, 
Is the utmost the most powerful, unique item that we've ever seen in Path of Exile? It would be fitting, after all, considering the name, but is it more powerful than a mage blood? It's hard to compare and not a particularly useful comparison, to be honest, especially considering that mage blood is a lot more open to interpretation in terms of what it can provide to any build, with what flasks and flask modifiers you make use of. But I think I wouldn't disagree with someone if they proposed the argument that this new unique amulet is the most powerful unique item in the game. With exceptional roles, the utmost is, well, just that. The most extreme, the greatest. What do you think of the utmost unique amulet? Perhaps you've been combining the curios together to get a well-rolled one. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you to my patrons. Your support is very much appreciated. If you'd like to join them and support this channel going forward and gain access to a bunch of perks in the process, you can head over to the Patreon that I've set up. All of the information can be found by following the link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.